Hi, this is Les Hasbargan. This is a tutorial that shows you how to use a macro written in Excel to uh, write data in Excel to a text file that can then be read into Global Mapper. Uh, so this is a convenient way to move your strike dip data uh, into Global Mapper all in one fell swoop. So first you need to download Strike Dip Writer V2. Um, this is on Blackboard and so download it. When you open it make sure that you enable macros and uh, if it asks you if you should trust it uh, go ahead but be aware it does have a macro in it that will can overwrite files. Alright so let's assume that you have a spreadsheet and that you have put well this is strike dip, strike dip writer so you can put in uh, your strikes and dips easting and northing elevation and point ID into the sheet. Once it's in here you can go ahead and write it. So uh, let's go to macros. Now notice that this is in the view. Typically I'll start off in home and go to view go to back macros, view macros, and here it is. And this is the <coughs> code that will actually read the data in this sheet and write it to a text file. So we'll go ahead and run it. This macro writes strikes and dips on this sheet, so if we had multiple sheets it would be the active sheet, um, and it'll write it to a file readable by Global Mapper. Continue, yes. First row and column of the data is row three, column two, row, excuse me, row two, column one. This cell right there, that's correct. Uh, and so we will leave that as correct. In the next pop-up, you will be asked to name the output file. Um, it's going to overwrite that file if it already exists. And I'm going to say yes. So, I already have written out this file once, so I'll write it out again. Um, so, and it's going to overwrite this file. So, let me just go ahead and put .txt as an extension on this file, and this will make sure Global Mapper can recognize it as a text file. Save it. And it's going to tell you finished writing the data. So, it should have gone to that storage location. We will now go to Global Mapper and we'll open that file. And so navigate to where you've saved your file and uh, um, um, when you select open this is uh, the options for text files. It is going to be point only and we'll accept these defaults here but notice that it should be easting first or longitude if you wanted to put longitude in there instead. Uh, and you can change this to whatever type you like but these are strike and dips so I'm gonna um, go ahead and set that as the feature type for these points it's reading in. I'll accept the rest of the defaults and then it is a UTM Zone 11 projection, so that's where it is. And all my strikes and dips have been plotted now. So to just zoom in a little bit, you can do this. If you wonder where you are in the world here, you can actually add more data. And we'll just go to, oh, USA Topo Maps, see what that looks like. Ah, and there we are in Mecca Hills. So this is Box Canyon over here and Painted Canyon here, and you can see here's my data set. So that's how you get your data from a geodata uh, base, a, uh, typically a spreadsheet, into Global Mapper in a hurry. Uh, and this concludes the tutorial.